Hi Scorpio, welcome to your general forecast for the end of February. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Scorpio, we're going to take a look at the energy around you at this time. Could be love, could be general. Just going to take as it, as it comes. So please keep that in mind. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, or Venus. And please only take what resonates, throw away the rest. If it's not fitting for you, then don't try to make it fit. It's probably not your reading. Hold out for future readings. Or this could be an energy of someone going through something around you that could be also affecting you. Could be past, present, or future. So please keep that in mind. So Scorpio, welcome in everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. So let's see what's going on for you at this time. And I would like to apologize for the readings being late. So I've been very sick the past week with the flu, which knocked me out for the whole entire week. So I'm trying to catch up here on YouTube, personal readings. So, so I'd just like to apologize in advance if I coughed during the reading. I still have a little bit of a cough. I can't seem to shake. So I'll apologize for that now. <coughs> Sorry. So Scorpio, let's see what's going on for you at this time. And I do say at this time, I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back, watch past readings, links below in the description box, general love playlist, and as well as decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading, um, how to tip, donate, send a gift, all that's below. And I'll also pin some of that to the top comment. Okay, so well, that came flying out, ear. So energy of ear, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Or this is an energy of needing to speak up, speak your mind, speak some truths. It's all about ideas, clarity, mental clarity, um, thoughts, communication. Hmm, okay. So Scorpio, what I'm going to do now is get you an opening message and then we'll get one card for your energy and then we'll clarify that with the tarot and then look at the situation, advice, possible outcome and get more uh, messages with that deck right there at the end. So let's get an opening message now for you, Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio. We have fear. Wow, this has been coming out so much. This is ridiculous. Fear. Having fear about something. All right. So let's get an opening energy for you. And wisdom, this is also just came out too for another sign I just did. So it's their inner wisdom. Maybe you need to be wise about something or listening to your inner wisdom, seeking advice and wisdom from those around you. So we'll see how this plays out. Do as seven, which is a very spiritual divine number. We have 38 here, which is 11, which is being on the right spiritual path, being led in the right direction. We do have strength here, so knowing your own inner strength, willpower, determination. 19 is 10, it's an ending, then there's always a new beginning. So there could be some sort of new beginning that you're fearing, um, but you do have strength and wisdom here for this new beginning, even though you may be fearing it. But there's also something about cl mental clarity, communication also. All right, so let's see what's going on for you, Scorpio. And I just want to give a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Those who have reached out for personal reading. Those who have tipped, donated, sent a gift. Thank you, thank you so much for all your support. We just reached over 10K subs. So I am planning... Um, some sort of giveaway, uh, a free deck, tarot deck, and a free reading. So uh, the re the tarot deck that you win, I will also do your reading with that deck, and then you will win that deck. So I thought that'd be kind of fun. So keep a lookout for that in the near future. Hopefully by the end of the month, I'll be able to um, put that together. Wow. So we do have the ending here with the Ten of Swords, some sort of painful, heartfelt ending. But now you're going into all this joy, happiness, prosperity, growth, abundance, victory. But you're fearing it. You know, the sun and strength both represent Leo. So when I saw strength, I'm like, okay, Leo. But then you have, I feel double confirmation because the sun is also Leo. So you do have brighter days to come after this ending. 
Prince of Wands. So Knight of Wands taking fiery, passionate action, movement forward after some sort of ending here. You know, needing to heal though. So make sure you're taking the right amount of time to heal, to mend, to think, to contemplate before you take action. Yeah, some sort of tower moment here. Shake up, break up, break down, argument, disruption. Could have been epiphany, aha moment. Some sort of tower moment here. Cause an ending. Of some kind. So needing to rest, rejuvenate from that. But you will move ahead with a lot of drive, ambition, passion, strength, courage. Better days are to come here. Even though you do have some fear. Five of Cups, sadness, loss. Could have been about love. You know, maybe something ended in a love situation. Maybe it ended abruptly. But you do have the strength and wisdom to move on from this. Maybe you feared it wasn't going to last or something. Um, that it was going to be like something quick. Or maybe you saw it coming and you were fearing the ending of this happening. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, so sin single independent energy here. But you have value, you have worth, you're independent, can take care of yourself. You have everything you need. Four of Pentacles. So it's the energy of holding on but not letting go also. And we have the Hierophant right in the middle of your spread. So this could have been a marriage. Maybe it was the ending of a marriage or some sort of long-term commitment. But you know the Hierophant is about faith, spirituality, uh, values, morals, structure. So let's get a few more here. The High Priestess. So listening to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing, but yet yeah, keeping things to yourself. Divine timing with the wheel here, things going in a better direction. Divine timing, fate, destiny. Unfortunately, whatever happened here, what ending was fate, destiny, something meant to be. There could have been secrets with the high priestess energy. Maybe that caused this ending. Maybe came as a shock with the tower here. You know, maybe you found it hard to let go of a situation, though you probably knew it was the right thing to do. You knew it was the right thing to do with the Hierophant. I feel like maybe you were very committed to this person in some way. And I think maybe intuitively you knew they kind of had secrets, but you didn't really want to know kind of energy. But you knew something, something was up. All right, so, wow. Let's get advice for you. Eight of Swords, so mental blockage, entrapment, can't get out of your own head. King of Swords, so this is seeing with mental clarity. That's that ear energy. So your advice is to get out of your own head, to see just things the way, what they are for face value. Having clarity on the situation. You know, a king of swords. Use it if you have to. Cut away things no longer serving you. Telling it like it is. Not taking any BS. Open, honest, truthful communication. Six of cups. So that definitely could have been a soulmate. Somebody, somebody you uh, knew for a long time. You could have had past lives. This could just be, you know, you paid your debt, your karma to this person from a past life. So now you're moving on. Um, kind of energy. Or it could be someone you were with a very long time since childhood. Or maybe you just need to go back home. You know, that could be an energy of that also. Maybe needing to get back home, reconnect with old friends, family. Judgment. So yeah, this could be about resurrection or just forgiveness. <coughs> kind of energy making a final judgment call on this situation, like looking down at the Six of Cups, this person that you were with for a very long time, or since childhood, or however it resonates for you. Maybe just having forgiveness of the whole situation, moving on, like the King of Swords. 
a divine energy being led and divine down the right divine path for you but don't get caught in this mental blockage here this mental entrapment and my ear is ringing so let's get possible outcome for you scorpio eight of wands so communication here travel could be travel maybe you will travel back home just to get away reconnect with friends family maybe you actually move back home three of pentacles here so working with other people teamwork collaboration learning something new you could be starting a new job the hermit so really needing to think and reflect what do i do now after this ending painful hurtful ending fearing what's to come maybe you were fearing you knew the end was coming in this situation but you do have that inner wisdom and strength to get through this to move on from this having mental clarity because you do have better days coming with the sun the wheel energy here just stay on your toes just keep that mental clarity you'll see the path you'll see the light clearly what you need to do if you feel like you need to move back home you should probably do that or maybe changing careers or whatever here you feel is the right path for you i think you'll find that path and you'll take it you'll get through this so what we have here is the two wands so yeah making plans decisions for your future moving ahead kind of energy king of cups and there's your energy Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, being in your energy, very intuitive, caring, nurturing, giving, loving kind of energy, peaceful, harmonious, but yet zest for life now, passionate, fiery, moving ahead, a lot of drive and ambition. After the pain and heartache here, the Three of Swords, just working hard, working on yourself, taking care of yourself, work, career, family. Yeah, after this burdensome ending, now getting in your car, you may be traveling back home or moving kind of energy. So let's see, we have Cancer, we have Leo Sagittarius, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy, and we have Leo, we have Virgo, we have Scorpio, your energy, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Cancer Pisces, Aries or Scorpio, um, Leo Sag Aries. So those are the other signs that I see. So let's get some closing messages here for you, Scorpio. I think you'll move on from this. You'll move on from this. You'll find your way, your path, your light. Some of you may move, just move back home, like for good, or relocate, or you know change careers i don't know whatever you feel like your path your way your light is you'll find it and you'll do what's right for you so let's see you do have that strength and inner wisdom to follow your own path divine timing is here wheel sun thing better days are to come so all right scorpio i do ask if you're new and um, you like my channel the way i read Please do like, share, subscribe, comment, and hit the bell. You won't miss out. I love to read the comments. Or you can check out my channel. If you like what you see, please feel free to subscribe. All right, Scorpio. Let's see, we have home. Your household situation is improving, either through a move or a healthy change in the occupant. So, yep, some of you will be moving, that's for sure. Physically moving. Undying love, the love you have shared is eternal, regardless of the situation. So just to know, whatever happened here, there was love at one time. And it could have been a soulmate, you know, at one time, or is still a soulmate, but this is just an ending. So just know that the love was real, and that will, you know, you can remember that for the rest of your life. That good, maybe that was the only good part, or the good part you will remember. Start delegating. Ask others, including me, to help you instead of trying to do everything by yourself. Green, uh, green Tower here. So you may need to ask for help 
advice, guidance, help, maybe help in moving, you know. We have fertility, the it's a perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas, and give birth to new conditions. So yeah, new new way of life now. Yep. High priestess, so <laughs> we have that over here. You have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teachings. So again, listening to your gut, your intuition. Maybe not really telling everybody what you're doing. Just kind of keep it on the down low um, kind of energy also. Or maybe you do have that energy to be a high priestess and to help others. Well, Scorpio, okay. So I hope this resonated for you and best of luck to you. And uh, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.